and start of season 2.5. Are you doing the intro? Am I doing the intro? I thought that was the intro. Oh, okay. That's a good (laughs) intro. Welcome back, everybody. The DOG podcast. Welcome back to season 2.5, as we established. And how'd you guys enjoy your summers? Your time off that I granted you guys. Well, I'm not a teacher, so no summer football. doesn't mean shit for me. So yeah, it's just just, worked. just more Did you get more your days. Scoliosis fix? Fuck no, dude! <laughs> I haven't seen Andrew Tate yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, you haven't ran into him. <laughs> I haven't ran into that guy on the streets. Dude, yeah. I heard you talk me shit about that podcast that one time <laughs> that, that like 30 people saw. Let's go ahead. Let's get into our picks pretty much of some of the division winners right okay. throughout the nfl sure and then we can go ahead and carry on to see who we think from there who we want to see in the super bowl right some of the super bowl matchups right yeah get into that let's okay go. let's start off with uh, the afc east and oc your boys the dolphins what do you think man you think they have the chance to to beat out the Bills, Patriots, you got Rodgers there. Do they it's a pretty a, competitive league. Yeah, do they have a chance? Yes. Will they but stay healthy? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the... Will they stay healthy or will Tua stay healthy? Well, Tua, I mean, the whole, like, jiu-jitsu stuff and, I don't know, hopefully it pays <laughs> off where... Take my good hand. Where they, he took a couple <laughs> hits in preseason where he's learning how to fall on his... On his side and like take the pressure off his neck, so hopefully that helps. But not straight to the dome. Well, yeah, just nah. getting rid of the ball, right? Like yeah. you would think him and like Bryce Young would have to, like that would have to be your playing style, kind of how like Drew Brees was, right? Yeah, if he didn't see anything, quick, get the ball yeah. out. I mean, if you think about it, how Tom Brady lasted so long in the NFL is because he didn't really take huge hits like that. I mean, he took a couple his the beginning of his career. They also changed the rules for him. Yeah. That's true. Can't hit below the knee. Below I mean, the they knees. technically changed the rule for Tua last year, right? For the roughing the passer, where you can't swing swing the passer down. Do they change the, that rule? Like, do they? Well, they, they didn't change the rule, but him? I mean, they adjusted an ag- existing rule for him, right? Yeah, I guess. You I know, mean, shit. So. When one guy gets concussed like four times in one season on national TV, yeah, yeah. yeah. it, it was looks... twice. Kenny Pickett has the same amount of concussions, and no one talks about him. <laughs> Someone salty. He didn't throw up the West Side. So, dude. I know. It just Tua's look worse, dude. Okay. Uh, Tua's one hard hit away from having CTE, like in year three. Looks that way. Yeah. Well, he was like contempl- I, I mean, it kind of sucks when a professional athlete's contemplating their career, but I mean. There's some adjustments maybe they can make offensively to get him the ball out quick. Like what you said, he's doing – Well, I think his second year in the system will kind of help. So mm-hmm. now his his reads are, are more determined. It's it's getting the ball out quicker. It's it's a lot of motion. It's a lot of quick game. So Let your dudes be dudes. Yeah, hopefully right. that, that helps with his, his playing style and right. just trying to get it out as quick as possible. Right. So, yeah, especially with Tyreek now. Everyone's in year two of the system, so – Hopefully it helps. Should catch on, huh? Yeah. What about uh? What about Rogers? Do you guys think there's going to be any amount of success there in New York? Um, no. no. Oh, well, I mean, yes, but do, do, does he win the division? Maybe just more ayahuasca no. trips. Yeah, I, I think he is a wild card contender. I don't think he wins the division. I think this is the toughest division he's going to be in for the lot, like in the, like the last four years. Mm-hmm. Because there's so much depth in that division. He's got weapons around him, too. He's got Brees Hall. Yeah, Garrett I mean, he's Wilson. got weapons. I mean, it's a better team for him that he's had mm-hmm. in, in previous years. But I think the competition of the division is also better than what he's right. seen in the last few years. Because you got the Bills there. and you got. I mean, I when, think they might sputter out a little bit. When Bill Belichick's Patriots are probably the worst team in the division, that's that's saying something as to how right. difficult the division is going to be. <clears throat> now that they have uh, Zeke there, they have... D Hop there, right? And no. then no, no. D Hop is uh, in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Tennessee. Oh, that's right. My bad. Uh, Juju, Juju, but Juju, but Juju's have... knee is gonna explode. Apparently, is that what the word on the street is? Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. If uh, it was like a week ago, it came out, mm-hmm. and, and some reporter was saying that the inside scoop is he's closer to blowing his knee than he is <sighs> making a recovery. Oh, fuck. But then Juju came out and said that's false. Like my knee is great. Uh-huh. So. But we'll, of course, we'll you're going to come yeah. out and say, like, no, that's false. Yeah. And then just next yeah. week. Yeah. So we'll see. They play on turf a lot. It's not a great sign for him. Let's uh, let's move on to the West, AFC West. And Sean Payton there, you think he'll fix uh, Mr. Unlimited? Or you think that's <laughs> done and dusted, dude? Uh, I, I, I can only see progress from Russell over there because of how bad it was. Mm-hmm. Um, 
still though, it's probably the one of the more tougher divisions. Mm. Maybe not the toughest division in the AFC now, but probably one of the more tougher ones. Um, Cause I mean, I, I, mean, I think, I think they're, th- they're still going to have to scrape for like that lost wild card spot. Right. Because they got paid the chiefs and the Todd and the chargers twice. Yeah. Like that's, that's, that's not that easy. Can we just uh, hang it up to the, <clears throat> to the chiefs? Uh, just crown them again for the eighth time in the row. No, not, not yet. I, I think I, I just, maybe after like a few weeks, we kind of see how Mahomes is doing and how cool. Herbert's transitioning into mm-hmm. this year's doing. Um, so I think that they're the favorites, but not by like a landslide. So who, I'll crown them. You'll crown them. Yeah. I think I'll crown them. Yeah. You're going to crown them? I'll crown them. Okay. I think the Raiders are going to be worse than they were last year. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But like, I, th- I expect Herbert to improve. I don't it, I don't expect him to go back. This is basically a, a race for second place. Pretty much, right? Well, I want to see Broncos how, in charge. I want to see what Denver's going to do, right? Because like you said, there's nowhere to go but up from here. And it's right? just offensively, right? Because their defense was lights out last year. It kept, kept them, them in games. games yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, didn't they like average less than twenty points a game on defense? Something but like but that, Russ yeah. couldn't score more than like sixteen he points. Move, he couldn't even yeah. move the ball down the field. Yeah, like it was crazy. They couldn't even play off a of field position. They beat San Francisco. They that did. They did. <laughs> Jimmy G <laughs> did. steps out of the end wasn't zone. That like, right now. Wasn't that like twelve to like yeah, ten like or something like that? Ten or something like that. As soon as I found out he was going to the Raiders, I was like, good luck. And I know <laughs> so many Raider fans. And they're just all hyped. They're you like, don't believe? Oh, we, I don't, fi- we finally got Carr out, I of, think the, that, out of the building. He that's sucked. a huge he downgrade, was, in my opinion. Oh, they're going to be worse. Yeah. I thought. I thought for a second they were going to start tanking for Caleb Williams, like because mm-hmm. they're probably the one of the few teams that out and out like needs a quarterback, right? Because we know that Jimmy can't get the job done, and we know he can't stay healthy, mm-hmm. right? And so I thought they were going to be the ones tanking for Williams, and then Arizona just. But like, I think they have too many good players to to really tank before the season even starts right i mean you look at arizona arizona was just like getting rid of people i mean they they lost d hop the james connor is still their number one running back right and he's not putting up numbers he used to put up i mean Devontae's still putting up numbers that's what i'm saying i i I think with with Devontae, hunter renfro uh some of these guys are kind of like well i mean we can't we we can't give up out of there yeah we can't give up just quite yet Devontae's about to with one more td catch he's gonna pass Larry Fitzgerald for fourth all time. No way. Yeah, I didn't know he th- he had that many yeah, touchdown yeah, catches. Yeah, dude, when you I play was, with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah he has like yeah, a one ten or something. It's ridiculous. Like, yeah, he he might catch. Nah, I don't know if he can catch Jerry Rice, but he's gonna get close. He's close, huh? Yeah. All right, so we'll we'll go ahead. We'll we'll chalk that up for the Chiefs. Did we mm-hmm. pick a winner for the AFC East? I, I'm going with Bills. You still going with Bills? I'm still going with Bills. Oh, see? Man. You just roll, <laughs> roll with the fins down. Yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, should, we should be writing this I shit think, down. Uh, I think Write I'll, this down in post so we can okay, record okay. all this. I don't know. I think I'm going to go I think I'm gonna go Miami, too. I think oh. I think the Bills are kind of going to flush out Miami. a little bit. You're a little biased. Yeah, it's, a li- it's, it's a nice city. I'm not going to lie. Okay. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful region of the country. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the AFC North, man. I think this one's this one's actually kind of a toss up for me too. Between, really, between three teams. Uh, I mean, if you want to say the Browns are there, I think the Browns are probably probably my sleeper pick to make playoffs at the AFC. I feel like they're. You give Deshaun Watson finally full reins to this mm-hmm. team. He's. I think he's still a dude. I would go. I would go with the sleeper pick being the Steelers because their defense is lights out. That's mm-hmm. what I like. Yeah, Steelers. just because Mike Tomlin, what, 17 seasons, never had a losing season there. So, right. I'm like, he's going to figure he's always going to be in the mix somehow. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to I'm going to crown the Bengals. I'm Bengals. going Bengals. Yeah, I think. Oh, he's going to be different. Pick the Ravens like he always does. I probably pick the Ravens. Yeah, <laughs> I like good. Lamar and I think him getting paid. I think uh, maybe I think this, he's going to show that he I want to see what this his, new offense is going to do. I, right? I think then, I think it's it's very entertaining and it's going to be fun to watch. I just can't bank on Lamar being healthy all season that I, I I've always had a tough time with these super freaky athletic quarterbacks that love to run the ball and just staying healthy. I think he'll stay healthy. I think they've added a lot more, uh, RPO wrinkles. And then you got Mark Andrews there and you got, uh, OBJ there. I mean, OBJ might have an okay year. I don't, I don't think he's going to go like over a thousand yards or anything. See what Zay flowers can do. Let Zay flowers, Zay flowers spin. cook, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's move to the AFC South, the the Pan Dulce Division, <laughs> as I like to refer to them. Uh, uh, I was like, wait a minute. Uh, no, I mean this is not nearly as bad as the NFC South. 
Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. This they, they have because a I mean up. the Jags made the playoffs, right? The Titans, I mean they haven't fallen off like that bad. I feel you like I two, feel like this is the year we're gonna see it. You got two rookie quarterbacks starting, and then you got T. Law in his what third year? His third and year. Ryan and Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> <laughs> but Ryan Tannehill with D. And they have and they have another rookie quarterback Ooh. as his backup. D. Hop, Derrick Henry. He I had AJ Brown there. I know. I, th- I think D. Hop's better than AJ Brown. You think uh, you think Derek um, Derek Henry's got still a whole lot of gas left? No, I, 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 mean, I mean, I think he's still great. Or he's still good. He's a baller, yeah. Um, but it, I mean, if you went back four years and was like, "Hey, Tennessee's got D Hop and Derek Henry," I'd be like, "Just give them the Super Bowl now." But if they had like AJ Brown along, with yeah. Them and so, Tannehill but I mean, playing. now they're older now, and so I, I think that they can put up a fight. Um, I think it'll kind of come down to like week 16, 17, where you really see like the Jags end up winning the division. I think they're a far team from where the, that team that beat New England in the playoffs that year. The Titans. Yeah, dude. It's just, I feel like they've fallen off last year. I think, I feel like they were one of the most disappointing teams for me last year because I thought they were going to go ahead and, and Not take for OC. that division. But OC sees Ryan looked- Tannehill and he's like, scrub, <laughs> scrub. <laughs> So you're gonna uh, know you're gonna know why Tannehill's why Miami let him go. Tannehill's your Jimmy G, like what he is to me. Yeah, and what Derek where Derek yeah. Carr is to Raider fans. Yeah, like yeah we like everybody was like oh it's like an ex girlfriend. He, he had that yeah. great like yeah. first year in Tennessee, right? right? Blew up, took him to the playoffs. But it's like eventually you're gonna get burned. It's like know? that ex girlfriend how that everything kind of, you know, goes out really good, starts off great, and she gets kind of fat. <laughs> <laughs> She's now she gets annoying. She slows down. Or She's like, down. where the fuck are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but you I'm, speak from experience, I can tell. <laughs> That's not a kind of personal. <laughs> we'll uh, talk about this later, German. Uh, oh, do we pick a winner? Uh, I got Jags. I'm going to go Jags. Yeah. Oh, so he's well, gonna I'm not be picking different. Tannehill, so now I'll take the Jags. Wow, we all I'm agreed not, on well, one. Well, the other two guys Unanimous are Unanimous decision. Oh, hold on. Know. But... Let me go back. I, I'm, I'm going to be on the lookout for the Texans to finish second in that division. Yeah, I, I, I'll give you that. Oh, you got Texans? You guys both got I, I really I'll like D'Amico Ryans in Houston. Uh, and the fact yeah. that they got Will Anderson as a linebacker. I'm still so going to say Texans are going to be better than last year, but you, they're, they're not going to have any aspirations to win the division. I think the Colts no. are still going to be bad. I think the Colts will be worse than the Texans. How long does Jonathan Taylor sit out? The entire season. I think the entire year. Wow. The it entire looks like season. He so really whoever does drafted not play there. You know, I was in a draft last night, and he was there round 11, and I was like, he was should I do it? You can should still, I do it? You but I already, him, I already up. have Kamara in that league, and I was you like, yeah. yeah. I was like, you know what? I can't afford to have two running backs out for three weeks. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have done that. I mean, Kamara, too. You can even pick them up later on. Oh, I picked up Kamara in like the sixth round. Uh, I was like, this is a steal. Uh, You're not going to play for three weeks. Week four on, Derek I got you. Derek Carr, check down Perfect. King. <laughs> uh, and then with your boy Hayner, Ooh. dude. Hey, dude. Juice it up. Dude. Dude. He's on the juice. She ain't juicing, you ain't trying. He's, take, he's taking his <laughs> vitamins, bro. That's, That's what like, it is. But, hey, but have, maybe, you seen how maybe his, have you seen how ripped Derek Carr got? Yeah, he's pretty jacked. So, so they're I sharing, the, they're that, sharing the water, the, huh? The, Derek Carr gave Jake Hayner his piss, and they're like, yeah. going to turn this in and say it's yours. <laughs> All right, Johnny. <laughs> that's, why, that's why they drafted him. <laughs> they're like, do we need a scapegoat? Yeah, <laughs> let me, Derek's juice. Let's get, let's get the Fresno State boys together. Freaking, he'll, he'll take one for the team for sure. Freaking Derek's Jay, over there taking whatever fucking Jay, Connor he, McGregor is on. <laughs> Hayner's that dude. He'll, he'll, he'll take one for the team. Yeah. And Hayner looks like he's that guy that shows up oh, and button yeah. up and like, yes, oh, yeah. coach, I'll take well, it. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever's going to make the team better, I'll do it. Do you think he calls Derek brother? Hey, big brother. No, he put, he, he, <laughs> like, he told us he's a bro. It's like, dude, that's weird. Yes, Don't stop calling me that. He goes, yeah. okay, big brother. There's two frat boys on the same yeah. team together. Bro yeah. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. Let's move into the NFC and let's go. Let's start off with the NFC East. And let's see. Let's see. Dallas. Drew actually Dallas, give, Dallas, 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 Dallas. You're not going to give uh, nope. Philly any love whatsoever. No. What about they'll, the Giants? They'll be the second best in the division. What about the Giants? What about the Giants? Give Giants are still Giants. It's been like 2,200 days since yeah, the Giants beat Nothing but negative. Fuck the, the Giants. Giants. Hey, what's the streak though? There's a streak in this division that no one wins. No one has won the no division. No one's gone back, back to back, to back in, like, in like 15 plus yeah, years. It's mm. insane. So the Eagles aren't winning. The I think the Phillies. Phillies gonna win the division. No, 
No, no. I, oh, God. So the the Cowboys. Going, are we all going different? I'm going to pick the Giants. You're going to pick the Giants? Well, Philly's not. They're not going to back to back. No. Yet. I'm going to no, pick, pick Philly. Philly's it offense, Philly's offense is still good, but their defense is, is taking a, a, a decline. Yeah, they um, clear decline, but I feel but like they have good replacements. The, the Cowboys' offense got better. Mm. The Cowboys' defense got better. Better who, on paper. Who's your favorite team? Dallas. <laughs> oh, just making sure. Better on paper. Well, I mean, we replaced okay. Noah Brown with Brandon Cooks. That's okay. an upgrade, isn't it? Here. Don't forget, you guys have Trey Lance, dude. <laughs> the ace of <laughs> Okay, all right. Sleep. We got we got rid of Calvin Joseph and replaced him with Stephon Gilmore. That got better. We yeah. officially moved Micah to D end. We yeah, just got be better there. there. All time, yeah, yeah. Okay. he's probably licking his chops. See, we got rid of contract. Zeke and going to give Tony Pollard the ball way more. Let me throw in a wrench for you. So. This season isn't successful if the Cowboys don't do what? Go to the Super Bowl. Okay. Uh, so that's the – that I, like, okay, okay, I was telling you on the way here, this is probably the best team since 96. Typical Cowboy fan. <laughs> this year's our <laughs> year. This year's our year. <laughs> We're Cowboys winning the Super Bowl. and the Raiders and the Niners. Every year their what fans come out. What prevents them from winning the division? Dak. Dak getting hurt? Uh, or what? Or Dak's bad play. Has to be. It, it would have to be Dak's or bad play. Or would it be coach management? Uh, no, it will. We could win the division with fucking Coach Clap. Okay. We we should be able to win the division it's with... Uh, coach, no, I agree. Gary. But the thing is, you guys also don't have uh, your boy Moore there anymore. We He's don't got Kellen there. there. Okay, and I was a little skeptical because McCarthy's... Oh, I, okay, explain this to me. How How is McCarthy the play caller, but we have an offensive coordinator? Uh, well, the offensive coordinator probably schemes it up. He schemes the week. <laughs> okay. Or escape. And so I was I was a little skeptical about this. But then do you guys remember the last preseason game? Dak Prescott called that entire game. When Will Greer showed out through for like oh, 360 right, right. yards. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really liked like his play calling. I was like, okay. So well, I don't yeah, think it's quarterback. Gonna, it's I don't think quarterback it's gonna, friendly. I, I don't sure. think it's it, it, it would be a coaching problem this year. It's 100%. This is the the make or break for Dak Prescott, like contract. It, yeah, th- this this has to be it. If Tony Pollard gets hurt, that also changes things because we really don't have a, a solid running back too. That's true because he made a big difference. When he, he's he's a he huge got difference. Hurt at healthy, the yes. NFC Championship game. We got we've got Deuce Vaughn. Game. We've got Davis. Um, these guys they're exciting, but they're not like carry the mm-hmm. workload it's not the one-two punch that yes. was Zeke yeah. and Pollard yeah. Yeah. the past four or five yeah. years but i'll go ahead i'll crown the eagles there that's enough of the cowboys <laughs> let's go let's move on to the nfc west and let's put a, it's clear cut right the niners <laughs> <laughs> uh yes and i think seattle comes in second yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, the Rams have a healthy Stafford and Cooper Cup coming back. Whoa. Cooper Cup's not healthy. It, bro. He, Cooper oh, Cup's not oh, healthy. Cooper Cup's out. That's he's right. out. There's he's no out timetable for his return. Oh, man. Imagine it could be you, in two weeks. It could be in, like, six weeks. Yeah, imagine if that would really Taylor That would Cup. really suck if Cup, like, really fell Did off. Did Manny take Taylor? Who got Taylor in our know. draft? I don't know who took him. We'll talk about fantasy later. Okay. It take up too much time. Uh, okay, so we'll yeah, go to the San Niners Francisco's there. San Francisco's a lose, yeah. 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 They should be the okay, there's so we all should, agree on that one. There should be a lock. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go to the NFC North. I think this one kind of is up in the air, too. This is up right? in the air. Just because they're all like kind of like paired up. Not that any team is like they're, obviously they're no bad longer, or obviously good. There's no longer good. Aaron Rodgers over their head. Right. And, I, and I think that kind of levels them out. You look at efficiency, I think – Maybe so Kirk like, Cousins is probably the most successful. I mean, Jared Goff went to the Super Bowl, but he's still Jared Goff. Um, love, I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't know. I gotta see ver- something out, of you. out on love. Huh? I, I gotta yeah. see more than Justin Fields. Yeah. He's a dude. I like Justin Fields. I, like I Justin really Fields like too. the Bears. Well, what we're seeing right here with Detroit, that's kind of impressive. But I kind of, I really like Justin Fields. But I feel like Detroit had a lot of actually good games last year. But it's because they nobody, did. nobody watches it because it's mm-hmm. Detroit. We never well, get to they see won it nine We're games. Out here in the West. I, I don't know how many games the Bears won, but I really like Justin Fields. Like he's got a really good arm for him. He runs. He, I mean, I know I said I was out on Lamar, and Justin Fields is kind of very similar. But I really like Justin Fields. He, so did, he go, did great for me in fantasy. You're gonna go year. Chicago. I'm gonna go Chicago. Oh, see, I'm gonna go Green Bay. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Minnesota. I think the Vikings will still. You like that? 
Yeah, I like that. I, <laughs> I, I want to see the chain on his neck again. Kirk Cousins, no, man. I'm done with Is Kirk it when Cousins. you got a guy like Justin Je- uh, Jeff- Justin Jefferson on your mm-hmm. on your squad? It to me, it makes that that makes a difference. He's probably, if not one of the best players in the league right now, if he's probably the best. Jefferson. The I just look at how they lost Michael Kendricks, who was an All Pro. They lost Thielen. They got rid of Dalvin Cook. So that's what I'm looking at. Can Madison carry the load for them at, at the tailback? At the position? tailback position, yeah. So. I mean, we'll see. And then it's going to come down to, to Kirk Cousins, too. Yeah. To I don't even know who their wide receiver, seeds. too, is. It's the uh, Addison. The Addison, the rookie. rookie. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean. He, I feel like cool they had a really, a really good punch with Thielen and, and Jefferson. You still have Hawkinson there. That could be their wide receiver, TJ? Yeah, yeah. yeah. TJ Hawkinson. Mm-hmm. When they, uh, so he's, he's from, yeah, sure. you know, I'd put him as second option. He's a top five tight end, so, yeah. No, yeah. He's, he's a dog of a tight end. Um, so, we'll, we all kind of just split that one. Yeah. Yep. Um, All right, now the Panduce league. A lot of people like pick the Lions. We kind of left the Lions. Well, I'm telling you, I think they'd be my second pick. What what I'm seeing right here, they'd be my second pick too. I I, I have a tough time trusting Jared Goff, but when you look at that line so far tonight, it's been really impressive. They've been running the ball really, really well. I have a hard time trusting Dan Campbell. They also got a pick six (laughs) against Patrick Mahomes. How many people got pick six against Patrick? It was a tipped pass. Still pick six in the books. Oh, uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, if you're going to say that argument, then half decks interceptions last year uh, shouldn't have been on it. That's true. Yeah, here we <laughs> exactly. go. Exactly. <laughs> no, but you're going to say that's true. Oh, my you're going to say that's true. No. Wait no, till no, you no, see no. Trey last play, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> never stepping on that field. He's the next Patrick Mahomes. Cooper Rush is going to have to get hurt. Hey, we'll see, man. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's move on to the NFC South. The the true Bandusa yeah. League. Yeah, this one. I got the Saints. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all got the same. Defensively, they should be far superior than anybody. They still got Demario Davis. I think there, offensively, so. they're far superior than yeah, anybody dude. too. Yeah, yeah, they have. They still have Michael Thomas, an aging Michael Thomas. There, Olave, he finally break Chris Olave. Will he finally Camara. be back to what he was? No, never. He, never. No. we'll never see that again. I mean, what? F- I mean, four years ago, what, he was the best receiver in the what game. What receiver have we seen that like takes a dip in play for like a season or maybe two and then bounces back? Well, that's the whole thing with OBJ. Yeah, Hopkins, you know, like Kenny. But I mean, did OBJ really bounce back? Well, for like the four games, and then he tore his ACL. That's again. what I'm saying. I feel like for those four games, though, he was back. But he wasn't out the way Michael Thomas is out, right? Oh, I mean, the dude fucking tore his ACL, so I'd say he was out. No, but I mean, like out of like out of like form for as long oh, well, as Michael Thomas is. He's he's been yeah. out of the form for like almost three years now, mm-hmm. right? Oh, he's also been hurt. I feel like on and off. Yeah, Small t- a, ticky tacky stuff too, yeah. which is which is frustrating. Yeah, but I mean, also dogs like play through that. Like we talk about how oh, Megatron was dog. always hurt, right? And mm-hmm. he, but I mean, then he had eight years, but at least he ended the eight years at top on top, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Chris Olave will be the number one target there, but yeah. I I wouldn't put him up as high as other receivers. He's a good receiver. He's he's not no Michael Thomas in his prime. Is Olave the best receiver? In that division. Is he better than Mike Evans? Mm, no. I would go Mike Evans over Chris Olave. Okay, but just Baker to, and Mike just Evans. He's proven. Baker and Mike Evans you, over over Carr and Michael I would, uh, I, would still, I would still go Mike Evans. But we haven't seen any of those like like pairings. So if you're just going based off a of career, yeah, Mike Evans. He's a, what, 1,000-yard guy every single season? Yeah, that he's, been he's always think, produced over 1,000 yards. I think Olave and, and Carr are going to be a little nasty. We'll see because I mean, Alave had uh, Andy Andy Dalton mm-hmm. last year, and he produced somewhat. He wasn't yeah. like he didn't go all out. And now he's got a, a true slinging quarterback, a guy who's not willing to live and die by the deep ball. No, yeah, he'll he'll produce numbers, mm-hmm. uh, but I would still probably go Chris Evans or Chris Evans, uh, Mike Evans. Chris Evans, yeah, Captain, Captain America. It's America the ass, dude. <laughs> Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, af- off of that. Let's go ahead. Let's. So everyone says Saints. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go Saints. Uh, off of that. Now that we have our division winners, let's go into our Super Bowl contenders. Who are we thinking? Dallas. Uh, <laughs> shut up. Dallas. There's maybe like six. It's gonna. It's gonna. There's be... like six teams I think who are capable of winning the Super Bowl. Okay. I, I there's only three teams out the NFC that should even. Be in the conversation. Niners, Eagles, Eagles and Cowboys. Cowboys. That, that's I think I I don't think anyone else really compares. If Andrew's going to pick his team. I'm picking my team. So. <laughs> yeah, but I think Miami my team, and San Francisco. 
Miami and San Francisco. That'd be a, that'd be a pretty cool Super Bowl. You got uh, Mike McDaniel's there going against his old boss. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. His mentor. I mean, those are my all these Super two. Bowl all these Super Bowl combinations or possibilities have and the Chiefs. Yeah, <laughs> have have a I'm bunch going, of. Uh, I'm going Cowboys Bengals. Cowboys Bengals. Cowboys Bengals. Joe Burrow. It's just, I, I feel I still don't feel like the Cowboys have it in them, dude. That's fine. Like they have, they have a lot of good you're, pieces. You're a born cowboy like, hater. It's no, fine. I, feel I like, accept that. I feel like Michael Parsons. He's he's a dog. Future Hall of Famer. I think he's one of he's, future first ballot Hall of Famer. Oh yeah, hundred percent. That that dude's he's he's going to put up numbers. Um, I just don't feel like everywhere else they have pieces in place, and I think also the coaching. I don't I don't think it's there. And, and then Dak. I feel like Dak. I feel like everywhere on defense they got pieces in place. I want to say everywhere on I'd defense. Say, I'd, I mean, I'd they don't say, have a better front than the Niners. They don't have like I'd, a I'd, better defensive front. Maybe Mozzie Smith the, looks pretty damn good for the Cowboys right now. Just those. because he looks pretty good doesn't mean he is good. You're just gonna ride or die I, I, with the I'm Cowboys. I'm just telling you, just, that's you ask. You're asking for opinions. That's I'm I gonna think, go. I think they look good. I'm gonna go Niners Chiefs. Niners Chiefs yeah, again. I think the Chiefs are gonna go there again. again. If the Bengals don't beat them because it's going to be the Bengals and the Chiefs again. I, I don't see the Bills pulling it off. Like I said, I don't even think – I mean, they're capable of winning the Super Bowl just because they have Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. But do they have enough to go ahead and actually cross that line to, like, be mm. dogs or to be that team? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So do we have any uh, sleeper teams, like a Jags sneaking into the divisional round? Does anybody? Oh, like like a dark horse? Like like, like making the playoffs or like playoff winning, wins? W- playoff like wins? winning one game in the playoffs, winning your division. <clears throat> I think the Chargers. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Saints. I'm going to go with the Browns. Okay. Yeah, okay. Those are some interesting choices. Yeah. yeah. The Browns, I'd, do you think Deshaun Watson? Like- Deshaun Watson, when he was at Clemson, I've been a huge fan ever since then. I bet, I think he's he's been out of the game for what too long. What about Houston? What about a Houston? I don't even have the Houston making playoffs. So no, no, he's talking like about Deshaun Watson at Houston. Houston. Oh, he made the playoffs when he was at Houston. That's true. Yeah, and then, but then and he also remember he had KC on the ropes when they were up, yeah, but like 24-0. Yeah. So who knows? I, I, Imagine if they would have won that game. I I mean. And then Bill O'Brien kind of just fucking. And then that. Yeah, they <laughs> completely demolished his team. Was back in New yeah, J.J. Watt true. told him, we need to get you the hell out of here, dude. Yeah. And so he did. And then he got caught in a big scandal, so he wasn't able to play a whole lot. That one, to me, is one of the saddest endings of J.J. Watt. Like when he, you know, he left uh, Houston on his own terms. But then when he went to Arizona, I was like, dude, how many other teams he could have gone to? Yeah. Why, why he, he had went his to pick. Arizona? Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe a lot of teams didn't have him, right? Like well, it could have also it, been a personal move. That's also another thing they were Arizona saying about D Hop, how they were like saying why, questioning why he went to Tennessee, and he actually came out and said, "Is like a lot of teams never call me back." Like that's that's valid. It's I mean it's a young man young man's game, right? Yeah. I mean, D Hop's been in the league for how many years? It's been a while. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, a while is what like six, seven. A lot, man. Then he's been through. That's what I'm saying. That's a lot. Injuries, like the last two two years, mm-hmm. right? He's ended the every season with an injury. I uh, just I just found out today. I'm older than Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, we all are, dude. That's crazy. He's like 24. No, he turns 28 or, like next week. Oh yeah, he's that. Yeah, yeah. We, but, well, I, I keep but, forgetting I mean, that he's, he's been young, in the league for he's so long. He's young, now. but he's also he's also an old vet in the league. Yeah, he's been in the league for for forever, dude. That's what that's what I'm saying. It's an it's a young man's game. Remember like, when he had that he had that shootout with Jared Goff. Oh yeah, that the Rams night game. that Monday mm-hmm. night game. The oh, his went the, off. the best shootout of all time with with Patrick Mahomes. I still think is is that uh, that uh, Bills playoff game. Oh, the, the, was, the, what, like three the, touchdowns two, in the two last years ago. Oh, 13, dear God. 13 seconds to yeah. get the field goal. Oh, God. They're like all the memes, like, don't let your girlfriend tell you 13 <laughs> seconds is not long enough. <laughs> I know. It's almost like that thing that they, everyone always says, you give Aaron Rodgers too much time. Same thing with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Like, they're cut from the same cloth. They're dogs. Dogs. Like, they're out there playing backyard football, mm-hmm. for sure. The things that. The game just comes easy to them. Things that only, like, a fight night amount of humans are capable of doing. Mm-hmm. So, is that our uh, last question for me? Uh, pick one team that didn't make the playoffs last year that you think will make it this year. I'll stick oh. with the Saints. 
I'll go with the Jets. Okay. Oh, wow. A good yeah. Jets is a good yeah. one. Yeah. Browns didn't make playoffs, did they? No. No. Okay, well, I got the one in the playoff game, so I'm just going to stick with the Browns there. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Drew, You anything you want to close out with? No, I think I got my rant in about the Cowboys. Always about the Cowboys, dude. Just leave dude, it to this fucking guy. I, talk about what you know, right? MVP. MVP. <laughs> uh, we got here roasted comes, last year, here dude. Here The MVP. Defensive MVP? We, Michael Parsons. Uh, You're not going to go Dak? <laughs> no. You're not going to go Trey Lance? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I mean, offensive MVP... <clears throat> Well, I mean, they always get oh, well, yeah. It's always going to yeah. be a quarterback. Because if Cooper Cup didn't win MVP for that year, he got the triple crown, or Derrick Henry going for yeah. over 2,000, uh, it's, it's going to be I don't know. Let's go something crazy and say Joe Burrow wins MVP. Okay. No, that's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't think he's people's top five MVPs, though, is he? <sighs> is he what? Is he a top five? Like, is he on everyone's radar for top five? He kind of gets overlooked. He gets overlooked a I little feel bit because like of his playing style. Your, your top three, right, are going to be Mahomes, Allen, and then Lamar, probably, like before mm. the season starts. I think Possibly. Burrow's gotten up there. But I think Burrow's kind of climbed up I a little bit. I think a lot of people are already, like, anointing Aaron Rodgers, like, automatically top, like, three, and I'm just like... He hasn't even played. I mean, played. have you has, has, has anyone watched any Packer games in like the last they two went, years? What what they go eight and nine last year? Eight and nine and eight. It was a losing record. Yeah, they yeah. just missed out of the playoffs. Yeah, they and got when they lost to Detroit. To Detroit yeah. on the last night of the mm-hmm. season. But even even when they were like when they lost the Niners in the playoffs a couple years ago, like that team wasn't that bad, and they they had Devontae didn't, that year, didn't they? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, they saw Devontae. So I mean, he mm-hmm. couldn't. I mean, he couldn't get. He the had job weapons, done. and he still couldn't get the job yeah. done. But, uh, I mean, you can make the argument that a lot of MVPs don't get a job done, like, in the playoffs and the Super Bowl. Like, Patrick Mahomes was the first guy to win a Super Bowl and the MVP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you could also make the argument that if Jalen Hurts never would have sat out those last two games, he would have won MVP. See, I, I think if you win MVP, you got to be the best team in your division. And I, did any of us pick the Jets to win the division? No. no. So then no. Uh, you can't be MVP. So I'm Mahomes. I would go – I would go um, – Jalen Hurts this year. I think he gets the. I think he gets over the hump this year and gets his MVP. You gotta. You gotta win the division, right? Yeah, he's gonna win the division. He's not gonna win the division. Oh, his he OC just, left, right? His OC left. Yeah. yeah. And the DC left. The DC left. Yeah, they they both got jobs somewhere else. So what happens when you have a good run? Your coordinator. I'm going with Joe gone. Burrow. You're gonna go Joe Burrow. That's uh, Joe Burrow. Mahomes for the three peat. Mahomes with the three peat. Do you think voter fatigue will ever set in? No, they kept no. giving it to Aaron Rodgers. That's true. He went to he, he went, went back, back to back, back huh? Yeah. How many how many Aaron Rodgers finished with four? Another, yeah, I think he has another one still, oh like from years ago. Right, or he has three, right? Because I know Brady has three. Peyton Manley only got four, which I feel like he got robbed a couple of them. So, I mean, Who we'll you see. Who's your pick? I'm gonna go with Jalen. Jalen Hurts. Yeah, Jaylen I think he's gonna ball out. Burrow. All right. Yeah. All right. That's good for me, man. You want to wrap it up? All right. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Close it out, dude. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming back, watching. It's been a while, but uh, it's football season, so we're back just like DeMar Hamlin. Um, Bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bitch. There's, he's back, isn't he? Yeah, shout out yeah, to him. Yeah, shout, shout out. out to, he made, he made shout the roster. Out. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. you know what? If, if As long as he makes it through the entire season, it doesn't matter how bad he plays, he's comeback player of the year. Yeah. yeah the the oh, dude was yeah. dead. You might as well hand it out. He was him, dead yeah. in the middle of the field, so... I think he brought something back with him. It's just like some sort of satanic like, powers. Yeah, you think so? Like, <laughs> let's not let's not get into <laughs> let's that. Not get different into, podcast. Let's not go different podcast. <laughs> All, All right, right everybody. We'll Thanks. catch you guys next time. Go dogs. Go dogs. Yeah. What? A go dogs? It's over already. We're done. The podcast is <laughs> the podcast is over.